Hey you guys, Troll HDPC here. And today I'd like to talk to you about a little issue I was having with uh, the editor, the actual uh, texturing editor. And well, I guess let's start out with the basics of where we're going here and what actually happened. I was busy putting a whole bunch of pieces of roadway together and the first thing that happened to me is I could not copy as I'm dragging along, you should be able to just copy these and boom, 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 make a road real fast. Well, some people don't know that game. I guess I should show you what that's all about. Um, you take one of anything, I, I don't care what it is, you know, and any object, and you want to make some other ones of it. If you get into your move command here and you select snap grid and you've selected snap object with size, you probably have the gizmo on, which is this thing right here. Um, if you hold down your shift key, it'll make a copy of that. And if you drag the actual Y arrow, you can feel that it snaps together really nice. Well, last night there was a stagger in here. And it was offsetting each one just a little bit down the line. And yes, this was selected. Yes, these were both selected. Yes, I was pushing the shift. I, I couldn't understand it. It kept happening again, again, again. Have about five times in a row. Finally, I quit the game, came back in, and it was fixed. It wouldn't do it again. Well, a little, little while earlier uh, today, when I wasn't recording, I was doing some other stuff. It happened again with these bridge pieces. I don't know if there's something screwy with the bridge pieces or what, and today now I can't get it to happen again. So if that is happening to you guys, I did have a fix for it. Um, so don't don't start your game over and ruin everything and just totally start over. You can fix the issue. And it was just using the snap, if you will, up here, the magnet, to make it uh, actually fix it. So let me shut the grid off here, select one of these pieces and move it just slightly out of whack just like it was last night and this was about right it was off by these post widths it was off so if you come up here and you select that magnet snap hit number four and hold down your mouse your mouse right in the middle of the bridge hold it down and you're going to get a, a a dot a red dot slide it over to the other piece you get another one let off the mouse button they'll align okay snaps in real nice so I had to go back and boom 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 all the way down the line <clears throat> I had to fix those and be careful it makes a big difference which one you pick first versus second so you'll play around with it you'll see what I mean by first pick versus second pick anytime you want you can back up by hitting control Z unless you saved it okay so uh, that was the first thing that was happening to me the next thing I'd like to mention real quick uh, on my way over to number two is th these primitive objects. It starts out as as the the actual boxes, right? You get these things. If you want to make a whole wall, it's just a great idea to hurry up and do, call it what you'd like it to be right away. Because if, if you build a huge wall of these and you get the whole thing done, you can't just window and globally change everything to brick or whatever you'd like, to look, like it to look like. Each primitive, whether it's a huge piece or whether it's a tiny piece, each one has its own um, texture. So you have to tell it right away that you'd like it to be whatever it is. And if you notice ever that the object preference doesn't come up even though you have it selected it's because you have more than one selected and you can see here in in this selection that there are three now selected so object preference will never come up and that was something I wondered a while back too what what's the story there so click away from it whatever and reselect that one um, the next issue that I had that had me looking online today with other builders to see if I was just losing my mind or something I was missing is if you look at these blocks carefully <clears throat> excuse me there's five of these primitives this is all of the square primitive blocks that there is that they give you this one I've 
duplicated just messing around. It's the same one. But these, this is the number with these five pieces too, okay? So I've taken this piece here, just this one piece, and I made these out of them to show you what I'm talking about now. So out of all of these, these go with the line too. And these are, in my opinion, the weird ones. So I'd watch out for these. They create problems for me anyway. You'll notice they have a half block on one side, full block on the other. So when you're doing brickwork or woodwork, you're going to notice you're going to get different varieties of problems from doing it. These blocks right here were copied over here on the left side. So they're exactly the same. Once you apply the texture to them, you get different results. This is one block that's spun around 180 degrees from this one. And then they're put together magnetically. So they are one to one. Well, they were. I was just screwing around with them earlier. And now it's shifted a hair. They were absolutely perfect. This one here is put together with the sliding method where they automatically, you can build boom, 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 boom down the row. This one here is put together with the magnets also, and it's perfect, okay? This one, I, I lost the association, and if I get it back, it'll spin 180 degrees, and I'd have to do it over. But nonetheless, it still looks good here when you put your textures on. And even this, when you do the overlap, looks pretty good. Normally that should be shimmering like mad up the middle there and it actually will if you get in close and walk by it. You can see it it gets goofy on you. Okay? And I, nobody really likes that but you, you try to fix it. These here I put together magnetically and this this was a game that did look like this where it overlaps each other. So if you put it together magnetically where it looks good and it doesn't shimmer and you're using these with a half a block and a full block, those five that are weird, here's what you get on your texture. See this here? The blocks are in a line. You lose the stagger. So that's a little something to uh, pay attention to because if you get your whole city or whatever it is built... <laughs> and you don't notice that until last, you're going to have a lot of rework to do. Just like I did. <laughs> so it's real nice to, like I said, always put your textures on first and pay attention really closely to how they look when you're marrying them together. It might be, like it was for me, I was paying attention to this side. And on this side, it looks great, right? This doesn't look bad. Where was that? Now I lost where we were. Okay, this is the one. It looks really good on the face. This block is straight, broken, straight, broken, right? But they're offset. You can see the block is not the right width here. And I, I missed that quickly. That it wasn't, you're always supposed to have half a block in your seam up the middle. These are elongated. Okay, so it doesn't look scale, and I didn't see it. I wasn't up close enough. So be careful that you're not putting these together magnetically with the four, number four command with the snap. Okay, and the overlap, the shimmering, if you don't mind it, it will go together. It will give you realistic looking blocks. I mean, that's, that's laid out good. And if you look at it from this side, the blocks are all the right width, if you will. So just a little something to uh, pay attention to as, you're, as you go along building. And I, I had the issue with the, uh, what do you call them, over here. I was making the ductwork going through a building, and I picked these that had that on each end, you know, where it's you have to mix them together, if you will. And it just, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't like it. Up here, again, make sure you're on the move. I'll show you, just so you don't think I'm losing my mind. Uh, hold shift down. And the magnetic attraction is always with that half. You can't, there's no way to get anything else out of it. That's, that's all you're going to get. 
But again, you go and put your, uh, your textures on there and you're going to see that shimmer line really lightly. So I don't know what to do about that other than use pieces that don't have that. <laughs> other than that, everything else has been working really good. Been having a lot of fun putting this stuff together and uh, making maps as a riot. Hope you guys dig it. Any questions, feel free to give me a shout. That's it for now. If you like the video, consider like and subscribe buttons. And let me know what you're interested in next. I'm Troll HDPC. Until next time.